Open up black windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down I wanna hear it talking shit from the drama Keep it coming up since you took the wrong brother It's the whip, 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 the gun down Dropping bodies in the place till the sun's out Can't fuck with this, enjoy my heart But the fuck with this fly, I'm the last one to die Like, subscribe, and share Follow us on the Patreon or the YouTube membership Y'all, my deck is now in the Etsy virtual shop So go ahead and check that out The link is in the description box below What is up you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all, y'all just gonna have to just work with the background today. I wanted something new because I ain't got no babies home. I ain't got no babies home. I ain't got no babies home. I ain't got no babies. So guess who's on the floor? Me, bitch. Anyways, so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into y'all's weekend vibes. Y'all know how I do these readings. If you are sensitive, please skip my channel, all right? I'm not sugarcoating these messages. Whatever comes out is what comes out. We're going to hit you with Friday through Saturday weekend vibes, okay? Anybody with that stank ass energy, take yourself on, okay? I, we, we just don't have time for it over here. Um, yeah, I think, I, you know, if y'all want to follow us over there on the Patreon, that will be listed in the description box below along with, you know, the members only. They get all of this content up front, um, and then I post, you know, bits and pieces for YouTube. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight in to Friday. The energy around you on Friday. What is going on with you guys on Friday? We've got Doppelganger that tried to come out immediately. Okay, so we've got Doppelganger. What is this? Run up, get done up. Why is there always somebody mad around you guys? It's incredibly annoying. Okay, pagan versus Christian because you don't believe the same things that they believe. Oh, somebody wants to change that. Somebody wants to change the way that I hope this isn't talking about like <clears throat> I about said Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, um, there may be people who are going door to door in this time um, that may actually be coming to visit your spot <laughs> in this next little while. It looks like on Friday. Um, yeah, there's some kind of like spiritual war going on in this time that you may be involved in, okay? This is definitely given, maybe some of you have decided to go public with some of your beliefs, okay? There have been people who are steadily paying attention to the way that you have been moving, okay? For some of y'all, y'all like to move in silence. I heard peace, grace, elegance. It's, what, what is that? What are y'all talking about? Peace, elegance grace and elegance and then they started showing me like princess diaries <clears throat> okay so for some of you i'm pretty sure uh in that movie i haven't watched that in like years but they showed that to me so there may be something going on in this time with the people who are in your environment or the people who you associate with i'm also i about said on the regular okay they may have had very strict expectations of what they wanted you to do. Why is this giving like family? Um, I feel like there is something that is shifting in this time to where people are seeing that you view life a completely different way or you've got some kind of like out of the box thinking that allows you to maneuver through certain blockages and obstacles that keep a lot of people stuck. All right. This has somebody pissed off on Friday, okay? I don't know what it is that you've done, but you have maneuvered through certain things that were meant to stop you, they were meant to break you down, they were meant to stop you in your tracks, and you're moving past it, you're moving some kind of blockage or obstacle out of the way on Friday, okay? I really feel like it's because you have kept your, like, I've about said nose to the ground, okay? There's something about paying attention to what you have to pay attention to and not allowing the other things to kind of get you stuck, okay? Stuck in limbo or stuck in the matrix. There may be certain ways of thinking of people in your environment. It's like they're stuck and they kind of want you to be stuck. There's going to be some kind of like push and pull going on on Friday with this energy, okay? I feel like you know what you know. Don't let anybody come in on Friday and try to make you think you haven't seen something that you have clearly seen 
because I do get, I'm picking up on that vibration of somebody trying to almost gaslight you <clears throat> into what you think that you know or what you think that you've seen or what you think that is going on in this time. It is an illusion, okay? I repeat, it is an illusion, all right? There is somebody here who legitimately is wanting to push your boundaries or fight the way that you view certain things, cut something out for you because it allows you to move beyond um, the mundane or the standard. There's something about standards, okay? So some of you, your standards may be different than most people, okay? And there's somebody who is definitely wanting to change the way that you view life, but it's like, I feel like they can't because you have seen certain things that have allowed you to do certain things that most people cannot, all right? Um, for some of you, this is a co-worker, okay? We got co-parenting out here with plans. There's a co-worker here who is trying to get something <clears throat> up and going to kind of stop that for you, which that's really annoying. I really don't want to do a reading on that, but there, there is a co-worker who is actively working against you, okay? And I feel like if you have certain spiritual practices or spiritual beliefs, they may be uh, communicating about that in this time, all right? Because they're trying to stop something for you. Like if you have planned to move or if you have planned to make certain changes to a company, there's somebody here who is, it's like they're, they're coming to, I feel like they're stuck, but they're mad about being stuck honestly this person's mad about being stuck with that run up get done up right there along with pagan versus christian so this person if they um if they are if there's somebody who you're dealing with like constantly they're recognizing that they're at some kind of impasse in this time they're about to start coming for your belief system okay they're about to start coming for your belief system like i don't know if there are certain um laws that prohibit certain belief systems or if you if there are certain laws that can protect your belief systems i would definitely say friday is the day to focus on finding whatever that is okay because for some of you if you are dealing with the co-parenting situation <clears throat> and that does look like what it would seem to be like a courthouse type situation if you're having to do that for some of you you've got a co-parent who is planning on bringing that up okay something about your religious background, your religious beliefs, because they're mad that you can get around certain things, okay? So that, that, that must mean something um, connected to your spiritual practice or spiritual beliefs is really, it's really working for you, okay? And they're stuck, okay? They're stuck, but they're mad about the place that they're at. They want to change your way of thinking. They wanted to change the way that people viewed you. The fact that I've got doppelganger, it's like this person may have tried to kind of like portray that they were the ones who were in the right. And it's like, it's being questioned in this time, okay? So whoever this is, who is trying to make it to where others were questioning you, they're being questioned in this time and they are pissed off about it, okay? So they're about to start coming for your spiritual practice or spiritual beliefs, all right? I'm just letting you know what this person's next move is. Uh, towards you, okay? Let me see. What is this person's next actions towards you? Towards you. What's this person's next actions towards you? Yeah, I heard discovery. All right, so we've got the sun that has come out. That's definitely given illumination type energy and the star. This person wants to know your secrets. This person is actively looking in to um, your background as well. For some of you, this could go as far as like 23andMe type background, okay? This is somebody here who is heavily focused on the way that you're moving in this time, how you're getting around certain things, and how they can illuminate what has been going on in the, in the dark. Like, it's almost like <clears throat> if, there is, if you have some kind of like spiritual practice, right, and this person sees you winning all right sees you winning she sees you moving around and getting the things that you want this person has basically i don't like that i heard that about said placed a bounty on your head okay so 
this could be a spiritual bounty on your head. Somebody may have actually placed a spiritual bounty on your head. But it's definitely giving, like, there's somebody here who is about to try to make you question whatever this is that's been getting you around work. All right? Somebody sees that you maneuver around certain situations, whether they're legal situations or whether it's, like, the spiritual. They, they're watching how you're moving in this time. And I'm telling you, they want to close a portal. Like, whatever portal that you've been using to get around certain things or um, whatever this portal is that makes your life magical or makes your life easy, there is somebody who is definitely actively looking to figure out how to close this portal for you because it's been working too well, all right? So, something that you have been doing has been working too well, and it's caught somebody's eye. They don't want this to keep happening, okay? Okay. It's looking like a feminine energy, an older feminine energy as well, okay? She is trying to, I'm about to say draw up papers. It looks like she's trying to draw up papers or have papers drawn up or have some kind of like spiritual contract drawn up to stop you from being able to get around certain, like however you've been maneuvering, girl, <laughs> or, or dude. However you've been maneuvering, this energy that has been sent your way to stop you has somebody freaking pissed, okay? I also feel like they, di they just didn't expect this. They didn't expect for you to be able to get around some kind of working or they didn't expect for you to get around some kind of legality. And I see that you have somehow managed to go through a portal to where you will get away with something. All right, the fact that I'm saying this, oh dear. I don't even feel like I should be putting this on <clears throat> YouTube for sure. But it looks like you are maneuvering around a specific situation. And then my throat started itching, so I'm like, I guess I need to get off that topic. Okay, so let me get off that topic. Let me find <laughs> the, spiritual, the spiritual game. All right, well, I'm telling you the next way she's about to go is to try to either stop your third eye, stop your voice, stop you from being able to say certain things, stop you from being able to do certain things, and they're going to try to make you feel like it's wrong, it's bad, I heard it's bad, it's ugly, it's wrong, um, cleaning up something, somebody's trying to clean something up, I don't know if y'all watched that video, but, um, I'm pretty sure there was like a message that had come out, uh, it might have been yesterday. It was talking about somebody's PR team, okay? This could be somebody's PR team trying to clean something up as well. Like that mature woman who keeps coming out. Um, she's, I guess she's head of the PR team, okay? But she's trying to clean something up in this time or make something look wrong or make something look a certain type of way. And I see that she's at the head of this table, right? Um, trying to figure out how to close this portal or to keep you from being able to access something or to keep you from being able to maneuver around like this this warfare that somebody's trying to send you. There's somebody trying to send you warfare. Whether that spiritual warfare is legit just in the spiritual or if it is um, like court drama, okay? Because I told y'all, for those of you who have been following, <clears throat> spiritual warfare correlates to the physical in legal dealings okay so for some of you if you are dealing with you know i'm gonna say witch on witch war okay some of y'all may have dealt with a witch on witch war if you have you know you know how that works okay where you're constantly having to cleanse your spirit cleanse your space and um sending that energy back okay through the spiritual realm if you're not doing that, because <clears throat> I see it right here, don't tell me you're not. Like, I see that right here. Like, for those of you who keep having to do this, either return to senders or evil eye or all the, all the things. You know what I'm saying? Blockbusters, all the things. Because a lot of it is that. A lot of it is the occult work. For those of you who are not dealing with that witch on witch war, the battles where you're having to constantly cleanse yourself, and that's how I see that you've gotten around certain things. <clears throat> And you're dealing with, like, um, the legalities, the legal system, you know, the way that they think that they're going to keep people in line. That is something else that is showing up in this time on Friday. 
So, uh, with this cut and clear, it looks like somebody's trying to make a plan to get out of something that has been made public. It could have been something that's been going on for quite some time where a lot of people are having to come together to figure out a plan or to figure out a way, <clears throat> okay, around a specific thing. With this, uh, I just saw this to this co-parenting and then plans right beside it and cut and clear and move. There may be some kind of changes that are going to be coming in or being talked about in, on Friday, okay? Some of you may have decided to link up with your legal team and, you know, talk to somebody about the next plans to change something, to shift something. But I definitely see that something is going to be changed. Something is needing to be cut out. And I just really feel like it's paperwork. And I feel like it's because of something being brought up or something being seen. Okay, there's something that has been talked about amongst a lot of different people. Um, and I feel like this may actually be something where <clears throat> something not terrible has to happen, but something very uncomfortable. Okay, something uncomfortable has to happen for a change to be made. And I feel like Friday is the energy where everybody's looking at it. I feel like there's like a lot of different parties here that are like going to war with each other. Okay. This could have been something that's been going on in secret. It's being brought up um, to be looked at on Friday. Um, it's being brought up. I see that there's like angry. There's a lot of angry energy surrounding this. Let's see. What else do they need to know about this <clears throat> Friday? Because we see everybody mad. Okay. We've got a <laughs> ten of wands and nine of cups. So, for some of you, you may um, have decided to throw some kind of energy. I heard throwing shade. You may be throwing shade or throwing some kind of energy back at a specific person. And I don't think they expected it. Okay. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who has a lot of things going on. Um, and they don't, already don't have a lot of time. To handle certain things and I feel like you may have shifted some kind of like I told you you went through the portal you shifted some kind of energy back to a specific person and it's hitting them not necessarily as a hardship <clears throat> but it's looking like they weren't expecting to have to do all these tasks and all this so soon and they're having to move their schedule around and I feel like they're very uncomfortable I see you're kind of like laughing about whatever this is because whatever it is it's, I feel like it's something that you've already been through or you have already done. And it's almost like it's turned into some kind of like game for you. Like you could do something with your eyes closed at this point is what I'm seeing. And you shifted this energy and sent it back to somebody and they're like, what the fuck? This is too much on my plate. I can't handle this. Okay. Um, I feel like there is somebody here who is trying to make plans. Uh, I keep hearing negotiation. <clears throat> There's some kind of negotiation that somebody's wanting to make. Because it's like, I feel like they're having to take on a lot more of a burden than what they had expected to have to take on. And they're kind of pissed off about it, like, why is all this on my plate? Why am I having to do all this? Why? I don't have the time to do it. I see, do you see WTF in the background? Okay. There could be something going on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Or this could have been something that's been going on for that amount of time. Or something that may be taking place. Um, next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? Um, but there's there's something about it where you're kind of, it looks like you're kind of laughing about it because you, you look like you've washed your hands with a specific thing. It's like you've already moved. Maybe somebody thought that you were holding on to the emotions of a situation and it doesn't look like you are because Nine of Cups is also, <clears throat> that's past the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups would be walking, you know, moving on, having to move on. You've already moved on. I feel like there's somebody else who may not have moved on from a specific expectation or outcome. I feel like you've moved on and you're kind of laughing about it. It looks like you, you're over here in your bubble bath just chilling her charcuterie board maybe you're sitting around your charcuterie board and leaving somebody else with all of your task okay there's something that has shifted in this time where a lot of your tasks have been put off onto a specific person who acted like they wanted the smoke but they're mad about having to do all this stuff now i'm going to tell you that they're mad about it they're having to put in more effort than they did before or maybe it's either they had to they're having to put in more effort than they did before to cover things up. And you're just over here moving freely with ease. And somebody else 
I heard <clears throat> lost their weekends. So if this is a co-parenting situation and somebody, um, I guess is wanting their visitation or something of that nature, I feel like they may be getting certain visitation, but it's taking up their weekend or it's like 18, 18. It's something that they wanted to do that they're not going to be able to do. Um, that could also be spiritual warfare now. Like they thought that they want it, they get it. And then they recognize how much work is coming with that. Somebody's pissed off about having to make plans for every day of the week, specifically Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday keeps coming out. Okay. So there's somebody here who is about to drop the balls. What it's looking like. This is somebody here who they've got so much stuff going. Ew. <laughs> like if you do this, like it's showing me. I don't know if this person is not bathing or what. Like, you're sitting here in the bathtub laughing, chuckling, because you got the time, okay? There's somebody here who doesn't even have the time. They do all this stuff, and they don't even have the time to, like, by the time that they, I guess, get home or whatever, they're just crashing. They don't have, um, they don't ha they either don't have time or energy to take a bath. This is somebody here spraying their clothes with air freshener. That's disgusting. That's nasty. Y'all better... I, I know y'all ain't watching my channel and doing this. I know you're not. But I definitely feel like it's somebody who you've been dealing with, okay? So, I don't know. They're mad, though. I heard truce, but there's no way. There's no way. We gonna have to ask. Is that... Because I don't, I don't believe that. I heard truce. There's no way. There no, there's no way. No, they wanted that. They wanted those responsibilities so they can have them. That's what you've done. Like, no, you want yeah you want that oh i get a free weekend okay laughing laughing taking your bath having your wine your books on the table all the things there is somebody here who thought that they were slowing something down for you and recognize now that they just made something harder for themselves okay um and it's looking like tasks are becoming too much where they ain't got time to wash oh i said wipe their ass that's gross i don't know Somebody's hygiene is on the decline in this time. <clears throat> this is somebody who also wanted that smoke or wanted to fight with you. That's nasty. That's all I got to say about that. That's nasty. Okay. Let's see. Is that true? That person is wanting a truce. Is that true? Is that what I heard? They want a truce. We've got three of pentacles. That's that damn contract I was telling y'all about. And then the hanged man. What's on bottom? They want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They want something to change. They want a new opportunity. They don't like the opportunity that they're dealing with right now. I'm going to tell you that. This person does not like this opportunity. They don't like the... Um, I'm going to say they don't like the contract. Okay? The way that the contract has come up. Okay? For some of y'all, this could have been somebody here who thought whatever this was was going to make you call them, text them, reach out to them. And they're still sitting here waiting on that. Okay? Okay? Um, I don't necessarily see truce energy. I heard truce, but I don't see truce right here. I don't see truce. I see like this is something that runs deep. I see that this person wants to be stubborn in this energy. Sit, nah, okay. There, there's want, They're wanting to make something clear or to clear something all up. We've got salt here, like purging ghosts, um, getting to the bottom of something, um, something from the past purifying something from the past okay <clears throat> this is somebody who thought that you would be the one to do this and they've been sitting around hanging around waiting for you to do this i definitely see that this is somebody here who wants a new beginning wants a new opportunity but i definitely see that they are the ones who are kind of sitting here looking and waiting for you to reach out all right let's see what your advice is in this time on friday for those of you dealing with this situation I told you, something from the past, okay? This could be somebody who you had some kind of like karmic contract with from the past. Um, yeah, the way around this, it says this past situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experience. On the bottom, it says, if you get nervous, focus on service, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. So your advice from your spiritual team in this time is to work through that energy for you to be able to work through certain things from the past. They want you to get, I heard, get into your present. So get into your present, okay? 
Um, sift through that energy. Do what you need to do to release that energy. And the way that you will be able to release that energy is to not necessarily open up new projects, but focus on the projects that you already have in front of you. Focus on helping other individuals in this time who you know need help, okay? And if, if this is not focusing on specific people who need help, helping people, help an animal. Do something with your animals if you got animals, okay? Find something to focus this energy into and watch something evolve and grow. There is going to be some kind of like change that is going to be coming in possibly in the next two weeks but don't don't hold your breath on this person okay being the one to change something because they're mad that you're not the one who's making all the moves it's like you've made a specific move to move through that portal and to i guess release yourself or transform with the energies like as they transform you transform somebody's kind of stuck in the old ways okay they're stuck in the old way of doing things and it's really affecting a specific individual um, who you've got some kind of like working relationship with, okay? Um.